What's up everyone, Citizen Kev here. Today, I'm gonna to give you the top five ways to support your favorite YouTuber. Number one, just watch the video. I know that seems super simple, but honestly, um, a lot of people kind of misunderstand how YouTube works. A lot of times people think that you just watch the video, as soon as you click in, you know, give them a quick view, that's good for their channel, but actually that's not good for the channel because basically what YouTube does is it has an algorithm that kind of takes a whole bunch of data and uses this data to basically either promote videos or not. So whenever you jump in and watch a video for, let's just say 30 seconds and it's a 10 minute long video, basically what YouTube is seeing is that the video must not be good and people are jumping in and out of it. it let's not promote it because it's not going to make us any money later down the road. What would be much better for whoever your YouTuber is that you're watching, especially if it's me, um, watch the video for at least like four or five minutes. If it's a six minute video, just watch the whole thing. I know some of these videos are very long and you know, we have life. So sometimes it kind of gets in the way of how much of the video you can watch, but if you can watch most of it, please do just because it helps out your YouTuber that you're following. Also, whenever you actually watch the video and, or listen to it, because I know some of us, you know, you're at work and you're just listening. If you listen to most of it and watch most of it, you can actually leave a very meaningful comment. Um, and it'll be a little bit better than, great job, man, uh, you, this was fire. Those comments are great, but honestly, like it doesn't really give us much to really build on later down the road if we want to you know make other content or if we want to continue that content it could be our first time making something and if all we hear is that it was fire we may not know like was it really good could i have done better lighting could i have, you know made my voice a little bit better those things are things that we kind of really look forward to along with saying that it was great number two liking the video Sometimes you're watching uh, a video, let's just say on the TV or something like that, so you can't really like the video, but if you're on your phone, you know it takes like one nanosecond just to smash that like button, and it's honestly like instant engagement for whoever the content creator is. That lets us know that you like the video, um, and we, that we maybe should do more of that content or something. Uh, even a dislike, believe it or not, even a dislike lets us know that, you know, something might have been off and some engagement is better than no engagement. So if you could, please smash that like button um, for all content creators that you like. Uh, dislike, uh, for me, just hit the like button, don't hit the dislike because that's going to hurt my feelings. But uh, honestly, just don't forget to like the video. If you're watching on TV, um, just come back to it later, maybe on like your smartphone or on your tablet or something like that, and then click like. And that will help show us that it's a good video. Number three is comment. Comments actually go a long way, guys. Um, it's not just a morale booster, but it actually helps steer where the channel is gonna go. Sometimes we, we're just like lost. We have no clue what to do. We may put at the end of a video uh, something called a call to action and that's basically us asking you guys for your opinion or just kind of like some guidance. It's, it, honestly, you know, we're just wanting to be engaged with you guys. Um, so we'll say, you know, what do you think about this? Would you like to see more of this or would you like to see more of that? What is your favorite food or, you know, your favorite color or something like that? We just want some engagement from you so we can kind of know how to steer, where to go in our content to keep you and keep you happy, you know, kind of know if we can be able to actually support and give you what you want. Number four is subscribing. Not a big, huge surprise, I'm sure, for most of you, but subscribing actually goes a very long way when it comes to your favorite content creator trying to become monetized basically getting paid by YouTube. Uh, YouTube has stipulation that basically says you have to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours um, in order to be monetized. So as you can imagine, like getting 1,000 subscribers, that's a lot. That is a lot of people, so every subscription counts, uh, especially whenever you're new, uh, like myself, whenever you're still kind of new to the YouTube game, every single subscriber is just amazing it feels great every time you see that counter go up ever so slightly um 4, watch hours once again like kind of like what i spoke about earlier 
if you're not watching their videos, it's going to take them a very long, or if you're not watching most of the videos, it's going to take them a very long time to hit that 4,000 watch hours. And that's 4,000 watch hours within a year, 12 months. So as you can imagine, starting from ground zero and trying to get to 1,000 subs and then 4,000 watch hours, it's kind of daunting. But if you, are, if you are one of those individuals who does all of the steps that I kind of outlined, uh, watching the video all the way through, liking, commenting, subscribing, uh, you can help someone get to monetization actually a lot faster. The last thing guys, and this one actually goes a really long way too and helps your favorite content creator uh, exponentially, honestly, especially if you have a large following yourself on social media. There's a non-technical way to do this and it goes a long way too, and that is sharing. Whatever you're watching this on, uh, typically there's like a share button it's like a little arrow basically saying that you can direct this video to someone else. But that could be through text message, uh, email, on social media like Facebook, Instagram, something like that. Just hit share and that actually posts a link uh, somewhere else and helps you, that person's content get out to the rest of the public. So not only are you seeing it, but other people around you are seeing it as well. Another way to share it, guys, is actually word of mouth. The non-technical way to get the word out about this person's video or their channel. Just telling, you know, mama and them and your cousins and your friends and just different people that you interact with uh, about someone's channel can actually go a really long way because you just never know who else they may tell. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, honestly, if you're new here uh, and you did step one, thank you so much. It would be greatly appreciated if you can do steps two, three, and four, and five, two. Um, like the video, share the video, subscribe, comment, all those things. If you can do those for me, it'd be greatly appreciated. If you've been here for a while and you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. This way you can see all my newest content. Uh, you can stay up to date with everything that's going on. And pretty much as always, guys, don't forget to do good, be good, and feel good. I'll catch you later.